This is Blender Style, the show where we discuss a blend of heavy and extreme music. On this special episode, The Hacks and Cloak, self-titled, released 2011 on Aurora Borealis Records. <laughs> and Excavation, released 2013 on Triangle Records. Cheers, gentlemen. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that worked. So Nathan, this is your pick, but before we talk about that, Casey, you want to tell us why this is a uh, special episode of Blender Style? Yeah, so this is a special episode because we're going to do two albums in one instead of a single album. Uh-huh. But why? But why? Um, I mean, mostly because we just figured that, you know... No. <laughs> Come on. Fess up. Somebody, I'm not going to point <laughs> fingers... Uh, might have listened to the wrong album <laughs> last time and postponed the whole thing. So you listened, to Nathan picked Excavation, but you listened to Self Titled, and we all got together and we're like, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. I have no clue what you're talking about. <laughs> so now we decide we're just going to review both of them. So Nathan and I went back and listened to Self Titled. And I went back and listened to Excavation. And we're just going to talk about them both kind of side by side. There we go. Yeah, literally, we all have two sets of notes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which makes sense because apparently there's like a concept between the two albums. Exactly. And then before we start, Nathan, when, when we did this last time, we kind of joked that like Casey could have just reviewed the album as is because they were probably pretty close, and they're not. They sound no, very they're completely different. Which and kind it of makes me very happy that it actually happened. Me too. So this is kind of a happy accident. Yeah. Like what my father said about me. <laughs> hey, I just want to point out, I'm glad I could help you guys out. Oh, thank you, Casey. Thank you, Casey. I did it on purpose. So the self-titled is kind of like uh, film score music, mm -hmm. but excavation is more like dark ambient. Mm -hmm. There's like more like thundering sounds going on underneath and like more. Uh, I think there's more of a string element and like musical actual instruments mm -hmm. in uh, self-titled. Excavation, yeah. I think. It's more electronic. So there was a, a concept low behind. Low end, more. More bass, yeah. So there was a concept behind them. Supposedly, the, um, the Hacks and Cloak, the self-titled, was supposed to be somebody's descent into hell or death. Mm, that's what um, it sounds like. And then the journey afterwards is supposed to be excavation. Well, I believe, so the journey actually, that someone I believe takes, actually the, the first one is actually about kind of the life, isn't it? Well, and then according to the interview, excavation is the one where he leaves uh, the world as we know it and goes to not necessarily heaven or hell. Yeah. Just to be clear, there's no vocals, no lyrics. This is all there's instrumental. Some there's talking. like they're field record. They're yeah. like people talking like yeah, about back, work or yeah, something. Or something yeah. they're, they're what you call a field recording, which you know him, the artist. Field recording. Okay, he goes out and record something, and oh, they call I love it that. a field. Yeah, uh, you know. Yeah, just sounds of everyday life. So the yeah, first, whatever so doing. the first one's like a descent in hell or no, something. No, it's supposed to be a descent into death. Okay. okay. And then the journey one takes after they're dead, kind of like you said, then in the afterlife, the mm -hmm. journey they're taking is supposed to be excavation. So the first one's like super ominous and like and very very ambient and like tense. Yeah, because there's like string, the string. It's yeah. like me for sure. Yeah, this it, definitely I wrote like sounds like aliens undersea plotting to take over the human race. So I definitely listen to this in the sense, the sea? yeah, because why are they... they're aliens and dude, okay. dudes, the the ocean scares the shit out of me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it scares the space pocket. If somebody was like, "Hey, I'll take you to the moon right now in my shitty rocket," I'd probably be like. It'd All be right, yeah, shit. let's fucking do it. <laughs> but underwater. Underwater in like a safe submarine, I'd be like, fuck you. That's funny. Yeah. So yeah, but to touch on that, like the, the like you said, the violin, the the high pitch, like whiny, tingy, um it's almost like watching somebody on the um on the operating table waiting to be shocked, <laughs> trying to be brought back. But excavation sounds more like sci fi. It sounds like you're See, I'm, the, I'm backwards. I'm like, I think the first one's sci fi. And this, uh, uh, the first one, and then the second one is like horror to me. The yeah, the first... second one kind of has more of an EDM kind of feel to it. There's more actual beats to it. Like it still has that ambient thing, but a lot more of the the music 
has like a it has like a dance it. yeah almost even more rhythm going yeah on. yeah more rhythm for sure i guess uh, for the first one it kind of sounds to me it sounds like like a hitch uh alfred hitchcock yeah, film. yeah, yeah and yeah, then yeah. the second one's more like a more modern horror film mm-hmm. they're yeah, both for scary sure. as for shit. sure i would agree with you they're both fucking mood changers like you can't put these on and not have it affect the mood in the room mm-hmm. i mean it, it at times it can even get hard to listen to this you know. this would go really good. It kind of makes you feel uncomfortable. It does. It does. I like feel it physically even. Sometimes. Me too. This would go really good in like a haunted maze, like a theme park or something. Yes, I like that it's eerie. Like yeah. the first one's eerie, and so is the second one. Um, Self titled feels deeper to me. like it. It pulls on I my agree. mood deeper. It's like more emotional or more anxiety inducing. Well, I guess that was actually recorded, uh, you know, solely by him, the artist, uh, in his parents' shed with a microphone and some strings. And oh, that makes it worse laptop. somehow. Like more, oh wow, it fucks you up more somehow. Yeah, like it's like I'm in this shed and I'm making, I'm dedicating eight nine hours out of my day mm-hmm. to making this. You know what I mean? It's got to be brutal for somebody like this to listen to this as a. It's a project. It demands your attention too yeah. when you listen to it. That's one of the things I like about it. You can't not listen to it. Even though it's ambient or whatever. The first one for sure. The ba- the the second one, excavation, I feel like plays easier in the background. I think the second one was easier for me to listen to than the me first too, one. Me too, no doubt. Yeah, oh, for sure. That's one of the things I, I liked about it. Probably because I enjoyed it more myself. I actually enjoyed the second one. Mm-hmm. And that was the one you originally picked. Yeah. So were you from kind of going back were you familiar with the like how'd you get into this you know i was trying to think about this and i i can't tell you where i came across this that's um, how this music works <laughs> just, it, well, just I mean, I'm, into, words. I'm into like more ambient drone dark electronic stuff you know and uh you know i probably got went down a rabbit hole one day or read it somewhere it came to you in a nightmare yeah but um it might even be that i came across it, you know, this can't, I don't know if it is true, but I, like I have it on vinyl and I think it, I got, I got it down here going to underground records and, uh, just the cover with that, like noose, like floating. That's the second the, one, right? Yeah. This, okay. I, and that's might've even been where I picked it up, but just the album cover. I don't know. So we're talking about what we, what do you like about it? So my likes, um, I'm going to just talk about, uh, both albums as a whole because I feel like they are one piece. Okay. Okay. Um, I love that it, it's, I listen to it like a score and that it is many different layers. And uh, I feel like this is a doobie smoker and you can just get <laughs> lost. You know what I mean? It's a easy listening almost for me for some reason. Interesting. But I'm discomforting. So that's what I like about it. Is that it it puts you just, in that uncomfortable place where... Yeah, it's why you like horror films, mm-hmm. you know? It's like, you know, it, it makes me feel like shit, but I like feeling like shit. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. So, yeah, I, I would have to agree. I feel like there's... On on Excavation, there's a couple decent, I guess you could say, songs that actually kind of have a beat and thing. But both of them have, like, that ambient feel. Um, I'm with you. It, it performs better as, like, a, a, a set unit, mm-hmm. I think. If you listen to one, it's great on its own or whatever, and the other one's great on its own for that style. But when you listen to it together, it kind of completes that scene or that that feel. Um, it, it is really easy to listen to because um, you don't notice it. It it has a really good sense of portraying, uh, giving you a visual feeling through just sound, which is really cool. Mm-hmm. I uh, completely because when I listen to this, I listen to this loud, mm-hmm. like it's on my speakers. Yeah, I'm feeling it. You know what I mean? Especially, you listen to this loud? Oh fuck yeah, man! Yeah. <laughs> you could almost close your eyes and feel like you're you're in whatever situation. Oh, trying, oh trying. my and god! And I think it's yeah. and especially the excavation is is very physical. Mm-hmm. It's very low end. I love these, the low end yeah. excavation. Oh, it's, yeah. And then all, and, and there's a layer of a, is this a dance beat? Yeah. I really this, like it. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, That's one of my likes for sure. Is the, So the excavation beats. was named like one of the best dance albums of that year. Dance? What? Yeah. It's not dance. These are, it's just what dancers. I said. These yeah, are like people like, like, hey, let, 
come to yoga and we're going to listen to these two well, albums well, while we do yoga. Well, and that's why I say on excavation, there's a couple songs where you get some beat to it that you might be able to dance to, but it's so sporadic that I don't see how... This is something where you see those kids with the glow bracelets like waving their arms around all, oh my all X'd out and they don't actually know what's going on. They're just moving they're like, yeah, I'm dancing to this. And, yeah. So um, wait, who rated this uh, dance album? I'd have to look it up. It was it was on their Wikipedia page for excavation. Um, <laughs> so a, another thing that I really liked is with all the different sounds in, in like the field recordings and the strings and the low production, like you said, in the bass or the shed or whatever, it's mixed really well and it's produced really well. Mm -hmm. Nothing like comes out and stands out as it's out of place. Like it all does a really good job of mixing together. So he's produced also artists uh, like Bjork, mm -hmm. uh, a band called Health, um, Atticus Ross from Nine Inch Nails. So he's actually worked with a lot of different people as oh, well. Oh, he's done like film score for movies and TV oh, yeah. and video games. Oh, yeah. And he, he just sets the mood, you know what I mean? Like, Yeah, he's really good at this stuff. Mm -hmm. So what are some of our dislikes? Uh, I'm going to start with the excavation. Uh, I'm only ever going to listen to this in the background. It's kind of mm -hmm. hard for me to like put this in my forefront mm -hmm. and listen to it. I'm not that hardcore like Nate is about that stuff. And it's, there's like one mood to this. Mm -hmm. You put it on, you're in that mood and it kind of keeps you there. I can't, you're not going to play this at a party. No. You know what I mean, it has one, it has very specific playing. It's very personal. Yeah. And you, you have to be in like a certain situation for it to be real, you know, so I can play it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, that's a dislike of mine. And then self-titled, same things, right? You have to be in a specific mood, but it's like way more horrifying to mm -hmm. me. There's way more anxiety. It's hard to listen to. It's just like that, the violins and shit, like I've played it with some other people and mm -hmm. it just, it does not work. Good. Not it, it will ruin any like good mood you mm -hmm. have going on, which is, it's odd, kind of a, a something I really appreciate about it. I like that it will, it will fuck me up. Like I can't not. It moves you. It hundred percent like it's impossible for me to not like I tried working and I'm just like I can't mm -hmm. it demands your attention and it's yeah. just like it's hard to listen to I appreciate that about it but it that's a dislike and the other thing I really like the the beats and shit in mm -hmm. uh, excavation and that's just not present and self titled exactly and so that's kind of my dislikes with with that what about I would say one of my dislikes is there isn't more dance exactly vibe, mm -hmm. electronic. Uh, thing going on i like the drone i like the ambient um but I, I would like to hear some more of that you know mm -hmm. uh, but it's funny that you say that because i'm the exact opposite uh, i think excavation is scary as shit and i think uh self-title is more sci-fi and i can i can get by that's weird yeah um Probably because I, I think way too hard into the concept. Okay. <laughs> you know? Right. Uh, excavation, I'm like, you know where I'm at right now? Yeah. I don't know where I'm at. I'm not in heaven. I'm not in hell. I'm not in earth. I'm Where the fuck am I? And I kind of, yeah, like I said, man, this is a mind trip for me. But the dislikes are definitely, I wish they had more of a dance beat behind it. And then also it gets a little long at times. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a little I, bit. It, it can definitely get a little long. Yeah, so I, I would agree. My dislikes, I, I agree with you on the backbeat thing. I wish they had some more beats in both of the albums. Um, I'm kind of opposite of you, though, on the uh, the attention thing. This thing could not keep my attention at all. It was too monotonous to where I could, two minutes into it, I was off doing something else. Totally forgot there was anything playing. Mm -hmm. Like, it's there and it puts you in that zone excavations like that but not self-titled okay, okay. fucks me up so yeah. try something real quick though it's it, like i said earlier it's kind of like a painting you don't always go look at a painting you mm -hmm. don't always go to a museum uh, but when you do you don't just well i hope you're especially because you're probably paying you don't you know vacation it where you see the grand canyon look at it and you're not on to the next one I feel like this is something you definitely have to take your time mm -hmm. with yeah, and, and appreciate look it. at it and appreciate it and see the layers. Yeah, so this, like like I said, it it, it was hard to keep my attention. I feel like uh, Excavation kept my attention better because it had some beat to it, so it kind of had something to you know, pay attention to. Um, Self-titled, really hard to pay attention to, but I did also notice that 
when I put the playlist on shuffle with some other songs in between, you know, like some metal or something mm -hmm. in between, and then one of these came mm -hmm. on, it was easier to pay attention to. And I think that's it. I just couldn't keep the attention span long enough to make it through two or three songs at a time. Um, broken Up, it's a lot better than Taken L and as one. Um, and I'm a pretty big fan of like dance stuff. I, like, I love the Crystal Method and things like that. Mm -hmm. But it's just, this, this is, was really hard. Yeah, nothing I would compare yeah, to that. But. Not even. But it's like electronic. Yeah. I gave self-titled a 2.6 out of 5. I don't hate it, but I. the only other time I'm going to listen to this is if someone's like, hey, do you know any any scary music to listen to? I'm like, yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you. But awesome. in, unless that occasion arises, I'm probably not going to listen to it. I did enjoy the experience listening to it several times, um, but 2.6. And then... Excavation, I thought was pretty fucking good. I gave that a 3.2 out of 5. Awesome. Um, I'm kind of a noob to that genre, like that dark ambient. It kind of remind me of like Nine Inch Nails Ghosts 1 through 4, which is an album I really got into. It was mm -hmm. one of my favorite Nine Inch Nails things that they did. It's, you know, it's instrumental. Um, sounds like, uh, you know, Atticus Ross, Ross worked on it and stuff like that. Um, also like Tron Legacy, like that's as close as this genre mm -hmm. that I get to. So I'm really not in my wheelhouse, but this is good dark ambient for excavation. So I gave awesome. it a 3.2. So I gave um, self-titled a 2.6. Um, I thought it was a good album. I think it works better in a mix like I was talking about with other stuff in between. Um, it's just, it was a hard time keeping my attention on it, um, but I do like the ambience that's going on and the feel that they're able to portray on it. Um, I feel like there was a lot of emotion put into this and you could really tell it's there. Um, as far as excavation goes, and maybe it's because I didn't have enough time with it, but I gave this one a 2.3. Mm -hmm. I thought it was better on the, the musical side, but I also feel like because there wasn't a lot of it, it kind of felt like I was getting ripped off. So I guess I would rate the self-title because I'm going to break it up if that's okay. okay. I think yeah. it is one piece, but obviously the two, two ratings. Pieces, yeah. So um, the self-titled, I give it a three point five. Wow. Okay. Um, I think it's good. Um, I enjoy a lot of the strings and the ambient stuff that's going on. Um, but excavation, I'm going to give this a four point five. Wow. What I like about it is the space in that it allows my mind to go in different places. It allows my mind to wander and mm -hmm. make up different stories and different things going on. So I, I enjoyed it a little bit more than the first one. So I give it a 4.5. So I kind of want to touch on this, and I was just thinking about this mm -hmm. in my head as you were talking too, is that, well, there's nothing really musical going on here, right? Right, yeah, I kind of... So that's why I kind of compared it to like a painting and mm -hmm. stuff. This is an art piece. Oh, yeah, I don't sure. think you can be like, oh, favorite... Uh, can we even call this an album? Yeah, I mean, is this an, an album experience? It's on an album. Or but yeah, this, I think it works you know, better as an experience than a listening... Like, as a listening experience than... It's a score. Yeah. Without, with your own movie, if you want to put it. Yeah, it's not something you sit down and say, I'm going to listen to this tonight, or I'm going to put this on. No. I tried listening to both of them in different settings. Mm -hmm. Like, I'd, I'd vacuum my house. You know what I mean? And <laughs> listen to them and see, does that work? You're like, is that work? the vacuum, or is that? <laughs> yeah, dude, yes. Or I'd work, you know what I mean, on my mm -hmm. computer. Or I'd, like, I think you brought up yoga. I tried yoga with it, and yeah. that's not working. <laughs> yeah. Playing games, like. Yeah, there's no timing to keep with it. Like, it's it's hard to keep tempo think, or time or anything. I it's think really weird. just sitting. Yeah, I think just sitting and not doing anything. Like in a dark and corner. Just, and just, dude, just waste a couple hours. This would be cool. What do you got to do? This like would be I, cool if you, you were know what I mean? camping Turn with your friends. Turn this shit up loud, smoke a doob, <laughs> and, and, and just experience. Well, this would be cool if you were out camping or something. You had a campfire and all well, your buddies were... Oh, this would scare the shit out of me. I'm not listening to this camping. I think it would be cool as fuck because that's the thing. It would portray that fear and it would make it exciting. Yeah. I was driving listening to self-titled and I was just like... It's fucking too much. I can't do it. Like, it was too intense. It made everything too scary. I, so I, <laughs> that's awesome. You, you know, I, I saw this interview uh, with the artist. I forget his name. I should know, especially liking it so much. But um, uh, he was, like, touring on, you know, his albums or, do you know. He does other stuff, too. 
like different DJs he plays this stuff. in concerts yeah he, it's it, he'll, he'll play it live so he i saw this interview where he was talking about like do i throw in some like of that dancey stuff electronic stuff mm -hmm. or do i just play this and just see who stays around <laughs> you know what <laughs> yeah. i mean like who can tough it out and then when i look up and i see 10 people we're yeah, you know, we're, that's we're, kind of badass. And and I, I, I love that about it because I would be one of those 10 people. This is Blender Style. That was the Hacks and Cloaks self-titled and excavation. The more you blend.